Hello everybody, Dan here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. Let's get right into it, guys. Today's story is actually some breaking news of sorts because, well, it has to do with Amanda Wilhelm. And Amanda, just a few hours ago, went Instagram official with her new man. Now, you might be wondering because we did a video a few days ago about Scott Warren, you know, Scott admitting that he got fired from 90 Day Fiance and that he is not going to come back on the show, but to watch out for Scott because he will be back on reality TV at some point in the fall, but it won't be on TLC, but on another network. But in that video, we also spoke about the rumors regarding Scott and Amanda because they've been pictured together a ton and they've been kind of trying to hint or at least make people believe that they were dating. So is this new man, Scott, that Amanda is dating? No, it's not. <laughs> that was just a PR stunt. Like I thought, Amanda actually does have a new man after her relationship with the Romanian Razvan Chokoy bombed on their season of 90 Day Fiance. So who is this new man? What is going on? Let's take a look, guys, at what's going on with Amanda Wilhelm. So Amanda finally goes Instagram official with her new boyfriend. She's showing off her new man on IG after weeks of hinting at a romance with franchise villain Scott Warren. Amanda Wilhelm debuts new boyfriend Joel Salazar on Instagram after her split from Rizvan Chokoy. Amanda and Joel post for a selfie from their date night. Amanda and Scott Warren may have faked the relationship for social media attention. I definitely think they did. And they did say, to be fair, that they were not together, but... You know how, how it goes. They're trying to make people believe like they're together because they were trying to get attention. And so to some extent, they were trying to mislead people for sure. Now, 90 Day Fiance, before the 90 Day star, Amanda Wilhelm revealed her new boyfriend, Joel Salazar, on IG. Amanda was a single mom to her two kids when she met adult model and social media influencer, Razvan Chokoy. Now, if I remember correctly, Razvan didn't just want to be known as a, an adult model because that was a point of contention when, you know, we first met Amanda and Razvan. She kind of was a little apprehensive about Razvan kind of um, acting, <laughs> if, if we can say acting, in these kind of like sexual, you know, ads that he was doing, posing in his underwear and whatnot. And uh, she wasn't really a fan of that. And I can't say I really necessarily blame her for that because he was trying to portray himself as if he's like a serious actor but all he was doing was basically act in his underwear now um you know uh on tiktok a few months before they filmed 90 day fiance season six amanda was criticized for not giving herself time to heal after her husband jason wilhelm's untimely death she was also accused for cheating on her husband uh, on her late husband with resvan and um also people do believe that she moved on way too quickly because she's tried to explain this before but if i remember the timeline correctly it wasn't very long it was at most just a few measly months it was not long until she moved on i think amanda was a little desperate and she saw Razvan, and i think that she was smitten by uh, you know Razvan. now if you guys think Razvan is good looking or not you know i'm not one to judge but i think amanda did find him very good looking i think she was smitten by him and by his of course his body and um you know everything about him he kind of has a bit of a playboy vibe to him but amanda really liked that and he was also younger than her and perhaps that played a part in it because her late husband was i believe 11 or 12 years older than her so perhaps she wanted to go a little younger and she liked the attention now she realized she was making a mistake by dating resvan when she went to romania he wanted to have more kids with Amanda, and he had already applied for a U.S. visa without telling her. Now, um, Amanda confirmed she's not in a relationship with Scott following her much-publicized split from Razvan. And here is a picture with the new man, guys. And um, if we go on her IG, uh, she does not have any posts with him on her profile. Uh, she's just, uh, there's a lot of old posts here, right? You know, January 16th. Um, you know, po posting with her kids. And I think she deleted anything she had with Scott. 
So she posted this, uh, you know, about her late husband. I always thought I'd have the, the white picket fence and the happy family and the ring on my finger. So she wrote a big message here um, in November. So let's take a look at her story. So this is what she posted here, but let's go back. So this is her yesterday, 22 hours ago in South Beach, Miami, posting a selfie. They're at a hotel. And here is her with her new man, Joel Salazar. She tagged him. So that's how we know his name. She tagged him. And I don't know what you guys think about him. He kind of looks to me like uh, some kind of fusion between Razvan and Pitbull, the Miami rapper or singer. He, he kind of, <laughs> it's like you combine both of them and this is kind of what you get. <laughs> so this, this is her new man right here, Joel Salazar. Uh, this is our new man. So you guys let me know what you think about that uh, in the comment section down below. But she is showcasing him. She is putting his name out there. She is revealing him to the world. Um, you know, unlike some other 90 Day Fiancé cast members who will often pose with their new spouse and then, you know, um, kind of like blur out the face or blur out part of the body so you can't really see the face. And then not even tag them, just kind of try to keep keep it a little mysterious uh, and then put out these cryptic posts. And then just kind of try to play a, a bit of a game, in my opinion, with the audience, trying to make the audience guess what's going on. But Amanda doing no such things. She is just fully revealing her new man. And some more videos from South Beach, Florida uh, with the uh, cello uh, people here, viol violinist Miami. And uh, she's just enjoying her time, enjoying herself in Miami with her new man and another selfie here at uh, the hotel. So there you go, guys. That's the new man, Joel Salazar. Let's see what else it says here in this article. So Amanda posted a series of selfies on IG stories from her night out in Miami. One of them featured her new boyfriend. Amanda debuted her new boyfriend on IG while tagging his account, Joel Salazar. Standing tall in her paisley dress, Amanda took a full-length mirror selfie as Joel had his hand around her waist. Joel didn't smile for the camera, but Amanda's expression showed how happy she was. Amanda didn't caption her photo, but she did add um, Quien Pudiera, so by Cardellino as the soundtrack um, for her romantic photo. Quien Pudiera, it's kind of like uh, who was able to i believe in spanish now <laughs> i know a little bit of spanish but uh perhaps uh you know some people can can comment in the comment section down below but it's kind of like who was able to um the rest of amanda's instagram stories from the night showed her visiting south beach florida and heading to española way for drinks amanda seemed satisfied with her date night as she revealed by sharing another mirror selfie before heading to bed she recently made headlines for sparking Romance rumors with Scott from Love in Paradise and the family Chantel. Scott was Pedro Jimeno's mom, Lydia's ex-boyfriend, who earned a bad boy reputation for dumping her. And, um, you know, Scott and Amanda were on this show. And let's just say hypothetically there's more going on. Let's just say that, okay? Let's say it, everything's great between us and we're going to see what happens. Can you imagine when we do say that we're official, how, how bad it gets? Because she gets, she gets threats. She gets, I've gotten death threats. I've received everything I've gotten. Stay away from her. She, she's got a, I've been called a predator. I've never been arrested in my life. I've never had anything. You can't be a registered respiratory therapist. I coach high school competitive soccer. You have to have a level two background. And I say this all the time. And they say, oh, yeah, I wouldn't trust him. I'm a father, I'm a grandfather. Like I am, I'm so fucking sick of the fucking, I'm sorry. I'm tired of fucking haters. Fuck them. I'm fucking tired of them. Um, Scott, why don't you just stop being on social media? No. No, because then they win. And that's not going to happen. I'm going to keep being who I am. I love who I am. I love doing my content. And how they dissect that, I don't give a crap. But to my fans, which I've built up a huge following, they love my content. You know, it's unfortunate the haters ruin it for everybody else. Oh, Scott. Never change, Scott. <laughs> that was a good question by the host. That was a great question. And I always wonder that. I'm glad she asked that. And uh, I always wonder that. 
all of these cast members that have such a hard time with the criticism and they just never get off of social media. Now, Scott says that would be letting the haters win, but it's not true. It's because Scott craves social media. He craves the attention. Once you get a little bit of a hint, it's almost like a drug at it. You just have to keep coming back for more and more. And this is why all of these 90 Day Fiance cast members, they desperately want to get back on the show because they're addicted to it. They can't help themselves. I'm not even sure that it makes them that much money. Maybe it does, but I'm not sure that it does. However, they absolutely love the attention because most of these cast members are, of course, extremely narcissistic. And, and I know that's a word that gets overused these days, but I think the show attracts people that are more like that in general. And so those people end up on the show in general. And so they all kind of behave in a similar kind of way. But I love that question. And of course, Scott just being hilarious like he always is, but never really in the way that he thinks he is, you know. He is more like the joke, but he thinks that he is just enlightened and funny and everything. And and so, um, all right, let's get back to this article here. Scott had asked Amanda to be his Valentine in February 2024. Amanda agreed before Scott moved into her basement. They try to portray themselves as a new franchise couple, even auctioning off their first photo together. However, the pair may have just been having some fun at the expense of their social media fans. Amanda seems to have been involved with Joel for a while. They're opposed dating as far back as January on Joel's Instagram page where he and Amanda have exchanged flirtatious comments. Amanda has called Joel the sexiest man in the world. In one of them, Amanda and Razma were surprisingly still together during before the 90 days finale despite the red flag she noticed about him. Amanda knew she had to take a break from Rosvan or break up with him when he gave more importance to his social media career and his fans than their relationship. He wanted to give their relationship one more chance after he came to the U.S. He even asked to move in with Amanda, but she had already started talking to someone else. Now, interestingly, Rosvan is also in Miami where Amanda is right now with her new boyfriend. So could they meet up? Who knows? Um, once again, Scott just has a way of kind of putting the spotlight of on himself. This wasn't even a video about Scott, but E. Scott always just infiltrating himself into these uh, these posts. And I could show you guys more stuff about E. Scott. He's uh, he he's an oddball. He he's he's just a weird guy, and he's just he's a 53 year old man, and I think he's having in his own way the time of his life. He never thought that he would get this remotely close to this much attention. And the thing is, a lot of people don't even know who Scott is because Scott never really appeared on any of the main 90 Day Fiance shows. He was in Love in Paradise and The Family Chantel. And many people just stick to 90 Day Fiance, Before the 90 Days, Happily Ever After, or the other way. And so some people don't even have a clue who he is. And I know that because I've seen it in the comments on some of the previous videos that we did about him. But Scott trying very hard. Of course, we know it's not going to happen because he's been fired. So he's not coming back on 90 Day Fiance, at least not in the near future, perhaps ever. But perhaps there's a chance for Amanda to come back on the show. I have to wonder every time we see a former cast member introduce a new love interest, I always have to wonder... Are we going to see this journey play out on 90 Day Fiance, perhaps on The Single Life or some other spinoff? Are we going to see Amanda and, you know, this uh, Joel, uh, you know, Salazar uh, guy? Are we going to see how their relationship started and whatnot on a 90 Day Fiance show? I don't know. I don't think so right now. And the reason why I don't think so is because unlike Kalani, unlike Miona, unlike some of the other cast members, that have split with their spouses and have new love interests. Those people are keeping those names. They're keeping those identities. Well, in Miona's case, we know who her new boyfriend is, Terzel Ron. But in Kalani's case, we also know that it's Dallas. But she's always trying to kind of hide his images on Instagram, even though we know who he is. And it just makes me wonder why. Why is that? Is it because there's some kind of NDA with TLC? I don't know. But that's that's what I'm wondering. Whereas in this case... She's just fully putting it out there. And so it makes me believe that perhaps Amanda is not going to come back 
on the show, at least not right now. But would you guys like to see Amanda come back on the show? I know a lot of you guys don't like Amanda. I know that a lot of people felt uh, kind of fooled by Amanda because she kind of started off in a positive light. And then we kind of start learning more of her true colors as the season progressed. And I, I guess it was the opposite way for Resvan. Now, I'm not really a fan of either of them. To be honest with you guys, uh, I don't really care for Amanda. I don't even really care for Resvan. I just don't really care for these two people because I thought their angles, eh, it just wasn't my cup of tea. But I know some of you guys do like Resvan, even though you started off not liking him simply because of Amanda's actions. So... I'm going to guess, I'm going to ask you guys, do you guys want to see Amanda and her new man come back on the show? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm going to guess that the answer is probably a no. Also, let me know if you'd like to see Resvan come back on the show. It appears he might still be in the USA, so who knows? Maybe he might be filming for 90 Day Fiance. So that's the video for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also, hit that subscribe button down below right there. All right, and I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.